Hello guys, welcome to this new quick tip tutorial. This time I will mainly talk about modeling skills and speed improvements for your 3D scenes to gain the maximum performance. First of all, I open up my scene. I just created a simple plane with an object so I can show you how my modeling workflows are and hopefully you don't know them and you will learn how to be a faster and better modeler and time saver. So this is my scene, it's just a simple plane with a polycube on it. And now I will show you my modeling workflows. I will, I will use a lot of my hotkeys like Shift, Control and Alt, even Spacebar. So be observative to see which buttons I always use. So first of all, I'm not really sure what to model, so I will just explain some techniques I use and which help me a lot to get day-to-day -day objects done. So I go into face mode and first of all I want to move this one up to make it a larger cube and then first I'll extrude. If you're a beginner or new to Maya you will first go to mesh and um, or edit mesh and extrude but the quick way is by pressing shift, right clicking and going down. And then you have the extrude function. I showed one more time for this side. Shift, I press shift, right click and go down to extrude phase. And if you know the buttons, you can select it, select your faces and with one motion go downwards to start the extrude function. So this is really convenient and really fast to use. The next one would be inserting an edge loop. It's the same, you uh, press shift and right click. Be sure not to be in an a component mode, be sure to be in the object mode, press shift, right click, insert edge loop tool and then you can insert as many loops as you want. And don't forget you can always use the G button to use your last command used. So I press G now and I have the insert edge loop option selected. So for quick beveling modes you can also select your loop which is now selected. I can even select more like these. By the way, pressing double click on the edge selects the loop. And for quick beveling, press shift, right click, bevel edge. And then you have the parameters in the attribute editor where you can easily change whatever you like. You can add seg segments to it. And if you know how to use it, it's really easy and fast. Use double click, shift, right click and bevel. And then you have your parameters again. Now, if you would like to move this edge here, around on this line here, you would try to do it like this and go up to more or less try to get the slant of the edge. But there's an easy way, you just um, you just go into the tool options of your move op move tool, press set to edge button, then you can select it, and then your manipulator is changed so it's perfectly on that line, so you can easily and accurately just move the edge on the line you just set it to. The same goes for faces, the same goes for, for points over it or which which are vertices. So for instance, if I would like to move this on this line, I can just select it because I just did that before. It will move the face on that line. But now if I wanted to, let's say, move this point on this line, I say set to edge and then it moves exactly on this line, which is very helpful in a lot of situations. Another nice trick is the use component method. So you select your faces, press shift, right click and transform component, which would be the same manipulator for extruding, except it doesn't extrude. So if I would extrude it, it's the same manipulator. Another trick is to use the tweaking mode, where you don't have always to select your vertices to move them, you can just click and drag, which is not in the default option enabled in Maya. To enable it, you would have to select the tweak mode. So it would be, if you hold W for your um, move tool, you can see it's a tweak mode down there. If you select that, you can click and move 
and to change the position of your vertices. You see, if you don't have always to, um, you don't have to click the vertices and then move the direction. You can just click and drag, click and drag, which is not working because it always will go into selection mode. So I will now show you another feature for the move component mode. We for instance have this edge here, double click for the loop and you want to extrude it, you can simply do that with the extrude function, extrude edge, but you can also just say move um, uh, transform component and then you get this manipulator and if you move that it will manipulate it like an extrude but just without the extruding which is in situations very useful to just use the transform component instead of moving each edge by hand. So I just created a new cube where I will show you some new tricks or speed improvements in your modeling workflow. So if you would like to bevel all edges, you would in the old fashioned way go to mesh and bevel. But if you use the spacebar, you get the same menu which is on top of here, right in your viewport. So if you know where you, you have to look, you go to edit mesh and bevel. If you know where your commands are, it's really easy to use and fast. On a channel box, you can change your parameters. By the way, by middle clicking and clicking the offset, you can change the offset number. And while using the middle mouse button, you can press Ctrl to make a finer movement of your numbers. I just want to show you something for converting your selections. So if you quickly add an edge loop in here, and if you want to select the faces surrounding this edge, you have to press the control button and right click, and then you have the option to edges, to faces, and to vertices. So if you want to select the surrounding faces, you go to faces, and then two faces and then you have selected the surrounding faces which is a quick way of select selecting specific areas on your mesh. If I would like to extrude it, shift right click and downwards and there you go. And now for a quick bevel, same, double click on, these, on this edge and on this edge, on this edge, shift right click to the right and then you have the bevel function enabled. So be aware while using the mouse buttons and by pressing shift control, you get way more options in your viewport. Shift right click has the modeling tools. If you are in the edge mode, there's different tools. If you're on the vertex mode, you have also different options here, which is very neat. Then control right clicking is more or less only for selections, like converting selections to uh, vertices or to edges or whatever. You also have simple options for quickly changing your modeling menus. You can press H and left click to select your uh, modeling shelf or your operating shelf. And another nice trick is if you have to rotate something and you want it to, to jump on degrees, you have to press or hold J for snapping and then it rotates on, I think, 15 degrees. So you can easily go to 90 degrees or 180 or 45. Okay, with this last quick tip, I, I want to show you how I, I use the bridge and full hole option to create the faces, which are these, and I hit the delete button. So the first approach would be to extrude this edge up here and then weld it, which is an option, which is also good to use, but in most cases it's not that easy to just extrude an edge and then weld it together to get a hole. So what I would also like to do is you select this edge and this edge, and then you have to deselect two parallel edges and then you use the bridge functions function with shift right click 
and that bridge. You can create divisions or not. I always prefer no, no divisions in the, in the first place. And then double clicking this edge and say shift right click and fill hole. And then you have it finished. If you wouldn't deselect the parallel edge before bridging, I'll show you what happens if you would just select this edge and this edge and use the bridge function. It creates a weird vortex effect. I'm not sure why that happens, but it does. So the workaround would be just to deselect two edges, do the bridge function, and then uh, use the full hole. And then you have your hole in your object. So guys, thank you for watching. This was my quick tip for today and see you next week. Bye.